locked on to me? Who locked on to me? Who locked on to me? Oh! Damn. <laughs> Hey guys, Royal here, back with another video, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode, and what I want to get into is the transferred character. Now, what I feel as though in the story mode, later on, probably towards the end or the middle as a breaking point, I feel as though your transferred character might end up sacrificing themselves in a sense to protect your current avatar and what i mean by that is like say toa brainwashes um cc for example and i have to pick my character and fight against it or something else might happen and they might be forced to uh sacrifice themselves now i've been thinking about the actual dbz storyline on how certain characters have roles and priorities in their actual show for example goku's main role was to protect the earth and become stronger with any means necessary now think about your avatar its main role is to protect and correct the timeline now why do i say this well it kind of feels like a natural dbz tradition for a hero to sacrifice himself for the right cause at least Second, if you remember in the trailer for Xenoverse 2, the narrator mentioned how you would choose the fate of what happens in the history. Now, we've seen multiple times in the previous Xenoverse story mode um, how your patroller would have an ominous aura around them and heated moments during the story, signifying like the dark mixer or the brainwash, the new feature in Xenoverse 2, I guess. Now, I just feel as though, you know, your transferred avatar will get brainwashed of some sort and you might be forced to fight it or something else could happen like i said earlier and they could make up that decision to sacrifice themselves trying to protect you or a plot twist could happen and your patroller could possibly jump in at the last minute and sacrifice themselves for you to move on to the next part of the story i was also watching code sly's recent video regarding fanny melisa and i'm not going to get into that but if you want to watch that video i'll link it in the description um but i was going down in the comments and i saw one person say how the story mode ending was kind of yeah a little sad sort of say not trying to spoil anything for you guys i haven't played the game yet i'm going to get it tonight and i'll probably be streaming it but that's probably something that would happen so just keep that in mind guys but yeah guys that whole thought right there, just seeing your avatar sacrifice himself or you being forced to fight against your avatar in the story mode would be pretty, it would be pretty cool, but it would be pretty sad. It would be like a nice little plot to the story mode, but that's all I really had to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll leave you to the queen, guys. And remember, as always, stay royal. Trust me, baby, trust me, trust me. Trust me, baby, trust me, trust me, baby, trust me, trust me.